This is the timeline portion of our interview project reference in section 1. Last year was the first time that we modified the expectation from a basic timeline to one that resembled a social media page. Fewer students struggled, and I saw more creativity out of my students. Technology was the key to doing so. Drawing pictures on paper to create a fictitious social media timeline wasn't going to cut it. Last year's class was about 30 students, mostly general education with a small number of ESOL students. The example I will later show you is from a harder worker, but hers is typical for the group. Students needed to sequence events from their interview subject's life. Some students were able to get photos of their subjects, others had to be more creative with public domain images available online. One student this year is having a ball locating images for his mother's life in London. The biggest challenge in this portion of the project is getting students to take ownership of their subject and make something great. Relatively few students had their own social media accounts, so their success depended on engaging them from the start. I shared various social media pages with them, explaining the components of each. Once I introduced the project, they had to decide on their format and go from there. Most students opted for Instagram simplicity and familiarity. Others started from scratch to make Facebook pages. One created a Pinterest page with different boards for her aunt's varied interests. Students helped one another succeed. On some days, the classroom was dead silent while they worked, but in the early stages, the room buzzed with their support of one another. When they presented their final projects, most of them used their fictitious social media creations as their visual aids. It was great to see the variety of those products. Their choices reflected both student and interviewee. Students were all successful in explain, displaying what they learned over the course of the project, and even reluctant public speakers were excited to share with their peers, not a common outcome in sixth graders. The next three slides are part of one student's final social media timeline from last year. She created it with Google Slides. Each of her seven slides represented a key event in her father's life. She accurately represented the time passing and was created with both family photos and other pictures that depicted his life. This year's batch is currently underway. Aside from students choosing better interview subjects to begin with, their timelines look even better. Probably two reasons. These students are even more digital native, and the social media timeline intrigued them more. I started getting questions as soon as the project started in April. Mr. James, what's the social media timeline part? That sounds cool. It was a stark contrast to the drudgery of the initial timeline portion in our first year of the interview project. It keeps getting better, and a large part I owe to our technology integration embedded with it.